What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jump Off. We have swapped out Ringe for the man, the myth, the legend, Zerk. So we finally have an arms expert. Yes, let's go. I'm ready to jump into it. I think we're actually going to go into arms right now. Oh, hold on, before we start, do we have a chance at this game? Does the U.S. have a chance at, at winning an EVO Japan title? Okay, so here's the funny story about that is that 1010 man from the United States, I saw him at PAX South, and okay. he was like, I'll see you at EVO Japan. I'm winning the arms tournament free. He called it? Free? Uh, the day before his flight, he got deathly ill and had to cancel his flight. That's an OS. Deathly, deathly, deathly ill? Deathly like, ill. Like, like fever, like shakes. He, he probably had to go to the emergency room. That's kind of scary, man. So you said deathly I, ill. I, I hope Tan Tan is okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope he's all right now. I haven't been checking his tweets, but he wasn't able to make it. However, uh, there are Westerners, uh, part of the Fellows in Arms. It's an arms podcast. Fellows in Arms. <laughs> Y'all got a guild? So, <laughs> that is crazy. I might be down. They're over here and they're making waves, but this <laughs> match has already started. I actually don't know who's playing. But. All right, so we got All I know is that there's a dog, and then you have to punch the dog. And you can jump on the dog yeah. to get extra height. So Bite and Bark Mirror is very interesting. Bite, Bite and Bark is his name? Bite and Bark. So Yo, that's the dog a sick is name. Bark. <laughs> uh, the dog is Bark, and he's a bite. All right, right, I got it. So there's a lot of different mechanics that come out of that. We'll talk about that in between rounds. Oh, this is a mirror match, too. Yeah, it's rare because this is not very a high tier character. Yeah, that's what I was that. I was it's slow. I never, of all the arms I watch, I very rarely see this yeah. character. Yeah. There was, uh, in the beginning, there were a few people like Aussie wow. Lavisa who thought Bite and Bark had the hidden tech that was going like, to come out and be be real, but his movement, his walk speed is really slow, so he feels kind of clunky. Uh, the the mechanic, you use Bark, you can jump off of him like a springboard, and also if, when you block, oh, he, yeah. when you, when you block, he stands in front of you so you can tank a hit and then use that arm. So basically, Bark takes one hit, and then you fire off with both gloves while they only have one glove left to, to punch with. Yeah, because if you guard, you only you have to use that one arm. You right. can't use it. Be honest with me. Is the dog the problem? Uh, the dog isn't. It, it can be the problem if you're not paying attention to I'm it. Just, I'm making sure, all right? Because no. if the dog is low tier but the character's fine, then I was like, damn. No, it's it's he can be a problem if you're not paying attention to him. But you, he telegraphs his punches, so you just kind of have to... And you can just jab him at any point. What does a dog do other than sticking the tongue out as an attack? Well, like, like I said earlier, you use him as a springboard, and you can use him as a meat shield. So that's about it, huh? All right. Well, the dog sounds useful enough. It's used, more useful than most dogs I know. Oh, man. <laughs> they just, like, hang out and eat, you know, yeah. bark at stuff. So we got the... Uh, I love that his custom arm suit, instead of default, or used to default from tournaments in the U.S. So neither of these guys are using any of a Bite or Bark's default gloves, which is another reason why uh, they were considered not as high tier. So, what glove options does Bite and Bark have? Uh, the the defaults are like the the buff, the oh, wow. C key, and or no, the buff, the homie, and I don't remember the third one, but. Mm. And you said they're using custom here, though. Yeah, they're using custom. So on the right side, we see it looks like it's over. <laughs> it's over, just <laughs> like that. The Japanese goes. players won. Brother in arms. Down goes. There it is. That's the end of that. You got believe it. Look how big the... Oh, Nemo Ooh. versus Tech. My man, that's Nemo. hilarious because he has the best Tech in the game. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is a Tenno matchup. Not even just the, the regular, you know, in-game Tech. He's got that suit Tech. He's in Square Enix. He's got that Tech. He's all over the world. As, as Sanford once said, he fathered this. <laughs> I fathered this. I'm telling Nemo you right the, the now. Tech monster. There's no one in the world who can rock white pants better than Nemo. That's a fact. I'm just saying. That's uh, dangerous. That's actually a dangerous thing. Bro, that's Twins what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, white, white pants is tough times. I don't know how you're going to do that. In Japan, all those noodles, the bras, you're going to get it everywhere. Oh, wow. Stand strong in the EX tackle. Gets that stun. He's going to charge it up roundhouse. Spaced out. He's going to drop the knees. No, he wants the damage. Chop. Mm, tries to answer, answer back with that crouch jab. Gets beat out. Nemo. Set point coming up. You know, go to this man's homeland and call him Nemo instead of Nemo. <laughs> That's how you feel, Steve. You're just no, gonna man. It's just look, guy he's not lost. It's my urban twang. I can't Steve, stop it, dude. He's not lost, Steve. It's, we don't have to go with Dory to try to find him. <laughs> oh, Wait, does him. that mean Nemo is just going to win every Dissidia tournament? Yeah, he's got that inside office tech. He's oh, playing he's just going to spar. He's like the combo fiend of uh, Square Enix. The Woshige tech. Play all day long. Come out to the tournaments. Body everybody. Backdash to get out yeah, of that range. Yeah, but you need a team for that. He's only as strong as his weakest link. So. Oh, that's true. 
His weakest cufflink, man. He's got the suit on deck every day. He's ready. And none of those cufflinks are weak. Aegis, this should be a kill here. CA on deck. Dash up just to get all this. Absolutely. I... All the damage in the world off that. The full confirm, even with the V-Trigger 2 Aegis scaling, or the uh, the V-Trigger change to the Aegis scaling, doesn't matter. The handshake. Yeah. The, the crazy thing about Nemo is that he's beating up on unemployed players. <laughs> like, you don't know if he has a job. I'd feel so bad. He doesn't work for Square Enix. Whoever's playing, job, they don't work tall, for Square Enix. Yeah, he's they, handsome. He might as well not have a He's great at video games. He's godlike. Yeah. And you're just like an otaku neat. Yeah, I know, right? He's going to destroy you. Like, my self-confidence would be Yeah, you, you play all day for like nine hours, and <laughs> yeah. Nemo, Nemo plays for 30 minutes in after lunch work. lunch break? Yeah. <laughs> yeah but that's because he put in the time when he was, you know, that the neat's age. No, so he, he was in school. <laughs> so he says, because he doesn't have much time, he does mental training while he's at work. Oh, ah, yeah. slacking off when he's in the, the shower, when he has like any time to like meditate, he'll go through the iterations of the set play because he doesn't have that actual time to play in the training room. Yeah, that's actually a, a technique that actual martial artists use. Yeah, yeah. Wild. So. it's basically just theory fighting. You have to knowing what all what mm. your character's capable of doing in the engine, and then applying that. Just thinking about it, even though you're not able to play it a lot. Man, Taiga is looking very strong on this Akuma play so far. Mentioned he used to be a young player. He had a really cool setup in the... Oh, just got clipped. Had a cool setup in the corner, too. He did Standing Fierce, which spaced him out. When Karen tried to counter poke, he, uh, he got clipped by a Standing Medium Kick from Akuma. It's a cool setup. I like it a lot. We've seen a lot of cool Akuma play. As we mentioned, Tokido in the loser's bracket. Mm -hmm. Crazy to think about. I'm so surprised. By Powell. Powell. The Colin. Powell. Colin Powell. I'm joking. His name is Powell. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't even, we don't even know who Powell is. He's, he's a myth, but he's a legend. You know? Like, we don't, I don't know. He might but, not even exist. But we talked about, this is one of the things we talked about. It's like, you weren't here, but uh -huh. what we said was the fact that we're on, uh, we're in Japan, we get to see these local players that typically don't get to travel as much. Right. So you never know who one of your favorite names who get to travel might lose to on home soil. Mm. That's really a, a unique thing that we won't get to see a lot, considering that this is the first EVO Japan and we only get it on, you know, U.S. soil. Yeah, yeah what if Powell is like Tokido's demon? We just never knew. Like, yeah. to Powell always bodies Tokido. We just didn't know because he's never had any tournaments. But see, now we can ask him about that in an interview like so uh you know is that your demon yeah, he's really strong. yeah. the thing is Never beat that you game. wonder how some of the japanese players got so strong it's because of these unnamed right. players to us at least in in the west that they get to spar with on a daily basis during the weeklies mm -hmm. yeah so you're like yeah why is them so strong why is uh Tokyo so of course they're very strong in their own regard but they have all this huge player base that we're now seeing in evil japan that has helped them uh, uh, get to this point yeah i noticed that at ksb uh, over in osaka uh last year that was my first Japanese tournament as well, and you know the the trifecta, the three gods, Goichi, Dogura, and uh, and Kazunoko, they weren't top three in Guilty Gear. When they come over to our tournaments every other week. I don't think people understand <laughs> what happens at Mikado. It's literally like, it's like <laughs> they take all your clothes and throw you into a den of monsters and they're like, see you on the other side. They're like, what's happening? <laughs> like if you survive, you come out with the Mikado t-shirt. I'm just saying. Remember in Pokemon when Ash gave away his Charizard and it came back and it was all sick? That's what Mikado is. <laughs> it's where all the Charizards train. <laughs> it's crazy. I walked in there and you could just feel it. You're like, yeah, oh my it's, like, it's like bleach, the weighted <laughs> pressure, you can't breathe. Like, What's going on it's here? It's crazy. I was watching. Gravity. There was like a, a, a cabinet where Samito Chip was on there, and no one walked near it. They were like scared to play him. They're like, this dude is going to destroy me. They wouldn't even get near him. I was like, dang. <laughs> the fear. Yeah, that's got to suck too, though, when you're that good that you just want to play games and nobody wants to play you. They ain't trying to play you. <laughs> too good. That crush counter out the forward. Uh, heavy kick from MOV Chun. We saw him earlier. Stun there. Mm -hmm. Still rocking the V Trigger 1 and going to go ahead and close out round 1 with a perfect. No, perfect. Oh. Damn close, though. Yeah, yeah. Pixel. That's, the, that's the hood perfect. That's, hood perfect. that's definitely yeah, a hood, the hood perfect. perfect. For sure, we count those. Oh, that's right. It's gold You got to look for the gold. Yeah, yeah it's not <laughs> green anymore. We got that gold. Just like Street Fighter V is now gone gold, mm -hmm. this uh, this new version here. And that uh, poison damage adding. And we got a player from China here. Oh, a lot of players from Ooh. other regions outside of uh, Japan, like kind of you know this side of the world. We mentioned that there was a bunch of Australian players here. A lot of players from Europe, a lot of players from uh, China, Korea, of course. A lot really of cool. uh, Philippines players are Philippines. here as well. Yeah. I just ran into a few of the Philippines players. They're like, hey, I never made it to EVO uh, in the United States because it was so far. It's like, but Japan's closer. Right. Also, uh, visa oh. issues, too, for yes, certain players. That's true. China, Chinese nationals don't need a visa to come to Japan, so it's very easy for them to just buy a ticket and they get in with their passport. Whereas in the U.S., they got to apply for it. It costs a lot of money. So a lot of players that you wouldn't see otherwise uh, here in Japan.
Yeah, same in reverse. We need that visa to go to China as well. I like this crowd short. Now he, MOB is trying his best to open up. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, Flappy Bird. Does he Stop have the punish? Poison balls. Oh, no. Oh, wow, funny. MOV. I thought he was just going to do CA. It's fine. It's fine. He's MOV. Right. <laughs> he, he didn't watch that Javits tech video on how to punish the Fang Super. He was like, oh, I'll be fine. Shout out <laughs> to Javits. That man is actually a tech monster. He is like definition. Him. Follow all the, every, every tech monster you can find. Anytime you hear us talk about a tech monster, follow them on Twitter because they will just post all the tech on Twitter. Your one stop shop, especially with forums being yeah. gone. So. Yeah, it's hard to find that info sometimes. Just like, man, I want to know how to punish this thing and this thing. I got to just tweet this guy and be like, yo, how do I do this? I've definitely had a, now I know what to do. I just go, I see like the tech tweets and I favorite them. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to need this for later. So much Dragon Ball favorite, tech out there. Favorites oh, are uh, a they little dangerous now kick, because the Twitter will show what you favorited. What and is if that you, about? Can I we talk know. about this? Can we keep that private? <laughs> you never know, man. Wait, I might wait, follow wait, my wait. boy Wild Wallace. Uh, I might, I might yeah. want to see some... <laughs> What Wait if I want to follow Sonic Fox? You know what I'm saying? What if I want to? I like a, fa a favorite something he does. You know, that's a very risky game to play in the world of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Look, as Z, as keep, keep it to the tech, and you'll be all right. That's the rule of thumb. I'm worried about what my man Z is following or uh, favoriting over there. Right? <laughs> I know. I remember when Capcom fighters like favorited the wrong thing. I'm saying like anyone can make a mistake. It's and crazy. that was you? No. Uh, <laughs> and, and that was you? <laughs> now I know Z's over there being a degenerate, huh? So Colleen rocking his V-Trigger, too. Now, we talked about this. You said Momochi won his, his own tournament with this Oof. character, and I believe he was rock, rocking V-Trigger, too, with Colleen. Yeah, yeah, was too. yeah, she's so nasty with V-Trigger, too. The mix-up potential is almost of anime proportions, but and he's the damage. not going to get a chance really to flex that, at least not in this round. Oh, it jumps Double out jump. of there. Oh, the Mega Man jump. I'm about it. <laughs> Going to have to try to find a way to activate Trigger here. Yeah, interesting uh, to see how many Fong players we've been seeing so far today. Uh, I feel like he should have just gone with Colleen from the from the jump. Two overheads now. MLB just on that down back live. The dash oh, forward. And the oh, throw. Are, we, are we seeing the comeback? V reversal. Doesn't want to deal with that situation. The walk up throw. MLB's gone to that a lot. The opponent's like refusing to tech. He's like, look, I'm just gonna eat the throw all day. It's like, all right, so MLB's throwing him, yeah. you know, 15 times. But that's still scary in itself. Like. You never know what's going to happen if you get too close, but MOV seems to be prepared. Oh, too far on that crouching light kick punish. Oh, banking on possibly oh. a back dash right there. Didn't work out. MOV not taking the bait. And, but show, slowly and surely backing him into this corner right now. Crush right. counter. What's the setup? Dash oh, him oh, into that nail. Into the ice. A little short there. Save himself. I love that setup, by the way. The, Activation again. Trying to find some kind of pressure here. MOV yeah. just with the down back. Yep, enhanced hail. He's really looking for that stand fierce confirmed because that's where the huge damage is going to come from. But MOV knows it. He doesn't block anything else. He wants to block that stand fierce. The throw to Yo, close it out. All right. Yeah, that dash, uh, that enhanced dash in V Trigger 2, she just slides across the screen. Really good for covering distance. Ooh. Oh, counter off rip. Overhead, overhead yeah. again. MLB has not blocked any of those so far. All right, challenge on the three frame. Oh. I... Yeah, throw tag. Not crush counter on the forward heavy kick, though. Oh, crouch forward. Activate off the fierce. Yeah, raw yeah. spinning bird because of the range. Off oh, oh, punch. That's going to be a connect. combo. This yeah, might be full bar. Oh, CA. Yeah, you're done. Just like that, MOV closing it out with the critical art at the end. Excellent work to him. Launch him. Just another day at the office. Yeah, it was looking a little worrisome for a second there after that uh, comeback in the last round, but he did just fine. I believe we're going to switch right over to a KOF 14 match already in progress coming up. But MOV uh, definitely moves on. I'm liking this. Uh this, this, the jump off format is actually really sick. Right? I get to keep. It's like I'm at no home, pause. but I get to see everything. It's you like you're watching all the streams. You have to go to different rooms to look at the different streams. So you're at the venue. I usually have one running on my PlayStation, one running on my laptop, and I'm like listening to loud music walking around. That's typically how I. Yeah. You're just po posing, uh, walking around this, the uh, room. You're like, all right, I got to pace over here. I got to watch <laughs> this match. Oh, I got to watch this over there. And you're doing live commentary to yourself. You have to. You've seen me do that. <laughs> Can't help it. Our KOF match here. See, this is Cam Capuan. The guy that you saw trained yes. this guy. Okay. It's not <laughs> the show. guy that he thought was <laughs> Gong Il. It's not Kim Gong Il. It's the other one. Oh, wow. 
Short hop. Such a good normal. No. Oh. Flash <laughs> kick. Don't you ever. Yeah, he tried an NTR flash kick, and when it lost, it was just like, well, all right. See, I don't know much about KOF 14, Kim, but I know that every time I watch 13, there was a Kim on somebody's team. Yo, yeah. he, he still typically plays the same. He's very, like, if he can break your um, defense and get in on you, it's really scary. A lot of cross-up options, like you see right there, that uh, short hop A, especially mid-screen, is really strong because he can convert and to knock down for a lot of damage. Speaking of converting max mode, <laughs> goes into level 2 main masher. Uh, 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 uh. And he's going to need one more mix. But it's not over. Kim, if Kim hits, this could definitely, he can go into one reset. He has four bars of max mode, but never mind. Yeah, Yuri's going to get all the rest of that health back. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's going to get all that back. And like you said, depending on how long the round lasts, that dictates how much life you're going to get back. Uh, is this a pillow guy? Yeah, yeah I'm sleepy. Sleeping on a job. <laughs> he also has air legs. There you uh, go. There it is. <laughs> Yo, throwing the Yo, pillow throwing at the you? Pillow? I would love extra for someone to throw me a pillow right exactly. now. <laughs> a pillow it's sounds like he great. works at a hotel, man. He's, he's ordering an extra pillow <laughs> to order. Call down to the <laughs> front desk. I'll tell you, these Japanese hotels, the pillows are not that fluffy. <laughs> I'm telling you. Got to get the Airbnb, dog. Yeah, that's the tech. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, you. Oh, oh we want to win. I was expecting a slumber party. There was nothing. That's what happens, man. He activates max mode slumber party. Oh, trying to find a low hit there, throwing the pillow. Yeah, that, that slow-moving projectile. It's only a few characters in KOF that have uh, projectiles like that, Mai being one of them, but he's really good when it comes to the offense. Rekka in EX actually gives you a launch, gets the second knockdown. Doesn't spin any of that bar, though. No, maybe saving it for overhead. the anchor. Overhead. No, he didn't activate what? Maxwell. Tried to go for an overhead. You saw that lunge punch. All right, gets the DP that time. Amish Mike, you already looking real strong. The jump over He's, anything stop. now. He has like a DP burst. Oh, now I have to, I have to be careful. Wow, oh, a fast okay. ball pillow. Yeah, the EX, <laughs> the EX one, uh, only available in max mode, is a lot faster. And I believe it has two hits. Catches that, him low, moving. That's that REM sleep pillow. <laughs> <laughs> the REM sleep. <laughs> Rapid eye movement, baby. <laughs> Unfortunately, not going to have much health back uh, in this one. Had to deal with these fans the whole time. Yes, what's waifu fighters? So, I mean, what's it called? <laughs> heroines, heroines. You're about that life, huh? You're one of <laughs> those? Hey, I just you don't bought, see his tie? I just He's definitely about that life. I can uh -huh. tell how, by can how tell. the colorful this tie is. He is definitely a waifu fighters fan. Yeah, I definitely I just bought the Leona poster over here at Evo Wow, wow. What? Get, get this dude it's out that, the camera, yeah, man. Post like Malone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Leona's bae. <laughs> Oh, boy, you're one of those, huh? This was my father's side. This side is older than me, actually. Really? Wow. It's a it looks down. like it. It looks like it's, it's from the In Living Color days. But yes, exactly. we wow. have you a Fudo. <laughs> we have a Fudo package coming up for you guys. I believe he's still in. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, I'd love to check that out. Uh, Fudo, who, if you guys are curious, if you're actually in the Evo Japan area, if you're ever going to go to Ikebukuro, which is where this venue is, he tweeted like, nine restaurants that are all ramen places that he just <laughs> recommended. It's like a huge list of stuff in this area in particular. So it was really Where cool. did you go to last night? What was the review? It was incredible. What's the name of that place? Uh, uh, Kikambo. Kikambo. Yeah, that place is incredible. Uh, it was on their list of recommendations, and that was like we were trying to find out where it was, and we realized that yesterday when you told us about it, we're like, oh, yeah, we've been looking for this place. But, uh, yeah, it was incredible. His so number one, I think you're going to like this, is called Seven Samurai. Get out of here. It's Can we go there? Joint. Yes. You have to line up for an hour, though. I'm, I'm cool, I don't know if you're down with that. Yeah, I'm it's around dude, here. Boss took me to the little shop. We waited yeah. oh, in oh, that place yeah. for like an hour and a half. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, boss has boss a knows the tech. Yeah. Boss, boss has the food tech free. Boss is ready for sure. Oh, wow. But, you Did know, you see that uh, standing medium kick jab in the peach? Oh, that was crazy. Yeah, counter hit combo. Mm. Oh, right over the low medium kick. Furo, so good. I really like his chances. Because he recommended such delicious ramen, I have Whoa! Whoa! What is that conversion? Oh that was, that that was, was at the tail end. Yeah, that th is a virtual fighter. Uh, Death by I can't snoo, see snoo. many other people making that type of conversion. Snoo, snoo. I'm going to tell you right now, because of how delicious that ramen recommendation was, I want Fudo to win Evo <laughs> Japan. I like him as my favorite now. Wait, it was better than Little Shop? It was incredible. Okay. Well, Little Shop is not, yeah, ramen, it's not ramen, it's curry, it's curry so right? it's like a little different. But it's definitely the best ramen I've had. Mm -hmm. It's cool sure. because now they get a chance to give back. I think when they go over stateside or overseas, they're they're treated like you know FGC celebrities as they are. But now here they're giving you advice about where to 
you know, get the good food. So it's nice to, to see that exchange, that culture mm -hmm. exchange. Right. Like, hey, hit up this place. It's delicious. Because normally, like, for instant CEO, I'm from Florida. I make it a point to drive there instead of fly so I can have my car. So when you guys come mm. into town and people from other countries come in, I can take you personally to all the places. So. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm, wow. Uh, Capcom Cove, that's the arm that chauffeur. You know, I got <laughs> got to drive people around. So we got Blaze Blue up here. Kokonoe, a shell of her former self. This character right. actually <laughs> used to be ridiculous. She was yeah. ridiculous. Shout out to Nerd gravity? Josh. When but they, putting me through hell. But she, uh, was, she was banned when she first came yeah, out. Yeah, dude, she was so broken. So she didn't have like she didn't have animations for moves, so you couldn't even react to some of the stuff. It was dude, it was really what crazy. In the world? <laughs> just happened. You were just getting hit, like, well. But now the the new uh Kokonoe nine. nine. Yeah, I was about to say, it's just as bad. But but I will say Kokonoe is actually pretty sick. Like I I will, I, I like the aesthetics of the character. Nine as well. One of the uh the legendary warriors from the Blaze Blue uh, universe. Yeah, she's interesting. Uh, the nine mechanic, she kind of plays like uh, like if you're playing Marvel, you play Dormammu. Like she stocks the yes. spells, um, and she doesn't. Her inputs are really easy, right? They're pretty easy. It's, it's I mean, but it's just a fighting game. It, it's it's the same universally, but getting the level to actually have competent combos is a lot harder, mm -hmm. um, especially controlling their neutral. If somebody knows how Nine plays, they're going to try their hardest not to let that get started. But like you said, she plays kind of like Dormammu, teleports in the whole nine. I like these setups, though. Yeah. The mystification on the screen right now. Look, and, and if you look down, you can see in the bottom right hand, it tells the stock on the spells. Um, Kokonoe uses... She uses uh, graviton meters. You see those not those uh, nodes being set up, and she actually controls the gravity where she can push and pull you back and forth around them. So you have to be careful as well. Yeah, as we were talking about earlier, pretty much every character in this game has their own mm -hmm. unique system, right? Their kind of own unique uh, resource or gauge. So there's just so many, like, they're so different, all the overhead. characters in this game. Damn. Full conversion off overhead. Goodness. From, like, downtown, too. So <laughs> far away. Yeah. Dude, 9 is actually a problem. I remember when they first, like, showed everybody, like, oh, that character's cool. And then they got the fighter. They're like, yo, that character's broken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the trend is for Arc System Works that the newest DLC character Always is broken. often overpowered. Always. So if we follow that design philosophy, are the blue-haired SSG, <laughs> SGG, Super Saiyan God... Super Saiyan. I don't know. Will they be broken? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind. I, I saw win. some Vegeta stuff that was looking kind of Yo, Vegeta sick. looks amazing. Have you seen his super in God mode? He yes. legit, like, drags you and then throws you in the air yeah, and fights you back down really to the sick. ground? Yeah, that one's really sick. Oh, man. That's God. definitely canon. That is mad canon. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like we got the tail end of uh, someone winning Colleen here. A very popular character this yeah, season. A lot of people lot. are switching over to her or playing her a little bit more, uh, especially with her new V trigger. It's so, it's so good, man. You can move around. It's very mobile. Very strong V trigger for sure. Yeah, it's interesting to see the, so many players using V trigger two on characters that were lesser used as making them good, but then the players that were already good previously. A lot of them aren't switching over. Like, we're seeing some Ibukis switch to two. But, like, for the right. most part, everybody's still using, the top players are still using V-Trigger 1. On yeah, their especially because I think at this tournament, it's, like, so soon after yeah, the patch. Yeah. Everybody's like, all right, I don't want to try something crazy. So, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense. Looks like you're going to come in handy again. Arms on the screen. Hey, this <laughs> is your chance to, uh, to break it down. Mark. Oh, well, actually, that looks like the same one that won the previous match. Hugan, yeah. yeah, he's been on for a while. So How about to say, you said this bite and bark guy is not that good. We've seen like four no, of them the since character, The character, the player is good fighting though. Just like in any game, you can make character yeah. good if you're that good. Man, the dog just got bowl? clipped. Yep, so Bark's going to be out for a while, but this kind of looks like the ramen bowl this I had yesterday. This is a Chinese bowl. I grew up with these. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is a sick bowl. Yeah, Do they sell We're these? fighting yeah. ramen bowls. You know what the tightest thing about that ramen place was? There were demons or whatever, or the devils in the bowl. It was crazy. It was what? so cool. Oh, I'm so going there before I leave. It's like, actually ridiculous. So it's, uh, it's incredible. Good life lead here. He's using Springman. Springman, one of my favorite characters, um, looking like... Almost the default gloves there. He's using the uh, the trident on his left hand with the retorture on the right. Uh, it's going to cover a lot of vertical movement with that trident. And uh, the retorture has got that uh, flame effect with the hard knockdown and extra damage. Actually, ah, okay. both, both of them are actually the flame effect. Yo, Biden Bark is in trouble right Tried now. Tried to though. confirm into his rush and doesn't get it. He gets the knockdown. Oh, the throw. Oh, get thrown. Oh, nice. Shin Show. The uppercut? Yeah, his throw is uh, like Shin Show Yuka. Get over here. Get get, get over, over here. here. <laughs> so on on Bart on the uh, on the right hand, he had that ice chuck. It's new. 
It's, it's one of the new weapons that came out on the uh, Dr. Coil. I was um, about to say, so, like, they do have, like, DLC, like, gloves in here, right? Well, okay. no, what it is is that, well, the DLC gloves c came out whenever they had a new DLC character. All the DLC characters in arms are free, by the way. Um, wow. So <laughs> That's... So each time they release a character, that character has unique gloves and that, that you're gonna quit to put them on anybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that oh, makes wow. sense. Oh, my boy Kensu versus Robert. All right. Robert is a is a very stylish character. Really, uh, uh, he's really impressive when it comes to the offense, especially in the neutral range. Now Kensu can play full range. Uh, he has a uh, he has a full screen projectile, keeps you pretty honest, but not an uh, overly used character. You don't see many Kensus these days. Man, I could totally see Steve messing with Robert. Oh, yeah, 100%. Can it's I just say Robert looks like Salt Bay? Oh, yeah, he kind of <laughs> does. Or without, maybe, without the sunglasses? Or maybe it's Salt Bay looks like Robert. Uh -huh. okay. Robert's definitely been... <laughs> he's definitely been swagging. He's, he's for, been an adult forever. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> there's no chance. There's no gap there. Is the lore that he's a chef? <laughs> I wish. That would be sick. Perfect, oh. perfect. All right, Billy came back out here. This is my boy right here. He's like, oh, a poke him. Now this is gonna this is gonna be now uh, one of the things that's really good. Ooh, wow, wow. <laughs> one, cut so deep. One of the things that's really good in KOF is the fact that you can uh, cancel sweep in the fireballs to keep uh, pressure going in a lot of instances. So you're gonna see that a lot, especially if you block them. That's why hopping is so good because if they try to establish that pressure, they have to guess fireball and they can get punished sometimes. Nice back dash. These DPs are obviously always finding their mark. Tries to cancel in the max mode, trying to fight his way back to the middle of the, sc uh, the screen right now. Oh, yeah, and Billy doesn't get anything out of his max. And this is what I mean. Remember I was talking about before how you stopped that? Mm. Making sure Billy Kane does not have okay. a chance to start yeah. his offense is what he's doing right now. Damn, that's yeah. a lot of damage. <laughs> Only worked out for him for so long. But that's a lot of damage, though, off, off on Billy. And in KOF, um... The, the last hits of most supers, I think it's only level twos now, they don't scale. So they always take the same amount of damage. That's why those those little nods that you see, the um, those nods are increments of like life that you can get back and how much damage. So it's really easy to tell how much life you're going to lose when you're playing this game. So if you get hit with a level two, you can say, oh, it's going to take like the last two bars or whatever the case may be. Okay. Interesting. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. That smothering right. offense Just to not let him use his. All right. Oh, two he's stock. He's learned. He's learned. He's learned. Yeah, I know the internet's about this Kula life, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody loves this character. If you see her in the new Waifu Fighters. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, good. She's wearing uh, uh, Angel's costume. They what? swap, they swap I, I each thought, other's costumes. Oh, wow. I thought it was just you can customize them. You can do that, too. Okay. So there's, there's this uh, we'll anime activate. movie about boxing coming out. One of the guy I saw characters that. looks like Kula. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, is that man Kula? It's man Kula. <laughs> That's a bad picture you just painted. All right, there you go. <laughs> Skating around. <laughs> oh, Moe Moe. Oh, that's going to hurt. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Moe Moe is very, very annoying. Um, I believe, uh, oh, that's done. Yeah, that's that is it. done. Woo. First game is oh. a game. Oh, it's Cabbage. Yeah, hit him. He won SBO before in King of Fighters. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, this guy's, like, really good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he saw. played a Viper in uh, Street Fighter 4. Oh, oh, wait, it. oh, yeah, okay, I was going to say, I, rec I, I, yeah, I recognize Kevitsu. that name, yeah. And he yeah. always wears green because he likes cabbages. <laughs> My is that why his is. Robert is Yeah, green? no, I'm serious. Yeah, he's Momoji, like like, Momoji likes Robert. green, too. Yeah, he always rocks green can. Mm -hmm. That's why. I remember his Viper play in Street Fighter 4 now that you mentioned wild. It. Yeah, wild, for sure. There's that slow-moving projectile, like nice. I said before. Kensu gets to start up a lot of his uh, his game with that, though. Yeah, yeah, that was that a good soul dive, dive kick there. Wait, that kick is, is safe? It's almost like a Dan mm -hmm. kick. You have, to, you have to respect it. That's And that's uh, Kensu's DP just to fight back. Tries to go for a cross-up with that jump C. It reminds me of uh, Sean's uh, kicks. Oh, you mean like Sean's like a uh, Tatsu? His yeah. only good move. Yeah. Tornado. Oh. <laughs> Cancel CD. Wait, what is this wild DP? You got to take the risk sometimes, man. Yeah, and he's canceling a CD into it. That way he can keep the pressure uh, going. Okay. Oh, cancel. Ooh, super cancel. Pow. Follow up. Oh, oh misses the DP, oh, but because he jumped back. Throw. That is one of the sickest command throws I've ever seen. He yeah. kicks your arms. That is so godlike. 
This, right, man. Robert is definitely a Steve character. Oh, I yeah. Just tell. Yeah, I love this character, dude. And it's like, the thing, one thing I love about KOF is the fact that, like, I care about my team so much that I want to be good with all of them. So I don't, I don't want any character to die. So I'm like, <laughs> man, I don't want to stop playing with this character. It makes me play harder. I swear OC, to God. OCB everybody. I, that's, my, that's the plan, bro. It's like, <laughs> in Steve's mind, if it's not an OCB, he lost. Yeah, dude. I'm like, dang, man, I lost well, my K-Dash. Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to lose so that you could see your second uh, and third no, characters man. come out? So the order that I run is K-Dash. Like, K-Dash always leads the team. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're such a big K-Dash fan. <laughs> exactly. When so. the game came out, everybody's like, man, K-Dash is crazy good. Steve was like, oh, he's all right, I guess. Oh, my my <laughs> he didn't want anybody to know. Yeah, he was like, I'm it's trying like, to play my boy. It's like, I'm going to bust out on him one day, and then, then I'll Got, got that K-Dash. <laughs> yeah, Telling you, his whole team is green. It's the all whole green. Team green. Yeah, team green. The whole, team, really likes whole cabbage. team green. Whole team green. Whole team green. He's really like that dude in Avatar with his Make sure everyone's fed. My cabbages. Oh, that's Stan B from Kula. That's, oh, there's see, that. See what I'm talking yeah, about? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, he's either going to have to block that or roll out. He's going to have to make Billy Kane commit to going low instead. Man, oh, that get a chance. At level two, bro. Hello? Did he just lose 50% health in one go? That's what happens, Full man. Hey, what, man? <laughs> he's got that walk hey, instead. That's why the neutral is so important. There the it is. You do green. not want to get open up. I think uh, an element oh. to the team games is the color, color coordination. Oh, yeah. Oh. Col that's like the most important part. Man, I've been saying that for years. Yeah, you, you got to make the team match. I've Absolutely. actually not played teams before because I was like, oh, they, they can't they match. The they don't have, yeah, they don't have colors that work together. Okay, jump D. Jump C, excuse me. Oh, good DP. He's the heavy DP, oh, too. The way the <laughs> With that stand D, you're dead, bro. Uh, hi, hi. Uh, He's got the record loops. Oh, One more to do oh, it. Overhead. Oh, Watch your dough. Yeah, in EX, yeah, in EX, he gets uh, the last hit of Rekka actually launches. Launches, yeah. yeah. But you only—it's like it's really hard to get two unless it's like layer bars. He'd have to be like your third character. So yeah. hey, Yuri's something fierce, man. Yuri's a savage. I like the way he grabs by the collar. That's why I played him. I saw that super. I was like, oh damn, I'm How definitely is playing Yuri. Why are so good? Wait, because he's you can cancel uh, jumps. Uh, uh. Yeah, you can cancel DP into a level two, so it's so really you're just good. mashing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you that that super is so sick. Like level one is too slow. Like if you do DP level one, I believe, unless you're in the corner, it oh, doesn't is work. Oh, close to it. Big yeah. curtains, yeah. Uh, uh. Rekka, 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 and then he gets Ooh. another set right he after. He coordinated his color with his own clothing. Dang, and he had the pop off. Everything is green. That's green. He's green. Dude, Everything is green. Look at my boy Yo, Iori you know pointing to the screen. Because he's out here getting money. That's why everything's green. Oh, man. He's trying to win this Evil <laughs> Japan money. This guy. He's out here getting money. Is there money? Is there? I don't even know. Is there, is is there? there a prize? I, I, I don't know. Is I believe this, there is I know for, evil for every event. For <laughs> so when Nemo won the uh, Shoryuken Cup in Tokyo Game Show, he got a year's worth of couple noodle. It was a hey. non-monetary prize, which is how they dealt with the gambling laws. That's a lot of noodles. He's still eating. Yeah. Yeah. He may have like sponsored the tournament for all we know. <laughs> you know what I would do if I had won that tournament? I would legit just take it out and like feed the homeless. A, a oh, year's supply, I would okay. definitely would do that. Yo, Toriha and Knuckle Sonic. So I guess Knuckle doing Sonic Fox are his favorite I'm players? about this name, Does though. He know Knuckle Sonic? No <laughs> Doe no do Way. <laughs> all right, Z. I'm leaving. What is it on his hair? <laughs> he has the long hair. He's got the extensions, ah. bro. <laughs> Sounds so we're looking, ah. we're looking wavy. Ono son, stopping by the booth. I see you. Dang, he's I, in. I he's, he's like hiding. The mask. Oh, he the mask on. Like, he's got the long coat and the uh, the mask on. Oh, thank you. It's the throw. Close it out. If this was New York, it'd be gone. Yeah, that would have yeah, been absolutely. gone. Absolutely. The cop would have stole. The cop <laughs> that just told me to pick up Z's phone would have took it and ran away. Yeah, he would have grabbed your phone. The NYPD, they would have definitely stolen your phone and just left. <laughs> and what are you gonna do the about cops it? On me. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do no, about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can uh, you can fill out a report. Don't worry, but, uh, I would have uh, talked this out of it. I these things like, happen all the time. I don't know if we'll be able to. I would have handled. <laughs> can that. we talk I, about that? I would have been like, I didn't know. I couldn't do that. I didn't know. I couldn't do that. The integrity. If you do something here. Whether we it be talked your passport about this a little earlier. Or your wallet. We talked about this in the train. There's a high chance of it coming back. Yeah, that's a pretty good chance. I left my textbooks at a train station uh, one time because I was like rushing for the train and I forgot it. I came back, you know, like 10 minutes later, it was still there. So, like sitting there? Sitting there. Huh. Well, we went to get food one time at the curry shop, right? And you dropped. Everyone a has a story. Yeah, 10,000 yen bill. I and picked it up. And bought it, into, bought it into the. Hey, you dropped this outside. I was just like. Damn, that's actually wow. next level. Tell me oh, what yeah. would happen if this was oh, LA. Bro, or first off, I would have lost them 100 bucks. They would have found out I had that in my account. They would have waited for me to leave and <laughs> rob me. Yeah. That's exactly They would have they <laughs> kicked the door in. Money, huh? They would have oh, kicked the door in to the curry shop, stolen your money, beat you up, stolen your money, and then left. Like, it would have been nah, crazy. That, that would happen 
where you're from, not where you live. I, not where, well, I don't know, man. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty close to L.A., bro. Yeah, uh, you got to be careful out there. It's tough in these streets. It's, like, not, it's not worse than St. Louis. Oh, it's definitely not. No, St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis. <laughs> nah, bro. nah, bro. Your boy Seg was pretty mad at me because I wouldn't let him go get Chinese food in St. Louis. That place is oh, dangerous. That, that, uh, yeah, you went go to, oh, we went to Goody fella. Goody. It had yeah. prison oh, bars <laughs> on the window. Of the Chinese restaurant? Yeah, I was like, no. Was the food good? They didn't get to try it. We went to the restaurant down the street that's actually really good. Is it safer? You went in on those grits, though. It was like I he, did. he would Yo, distress. that's actually my favorite thing is watching Z eat, like, southern food or barbecue or something because it's, like, so foreign to him. When He's, I tell you, I saw Z eat that food, and he was looking around like, how is this possible? Yeah, I still <laughs> like, don't know what grits are. They're, they're, they're delicious. Remember they're made out we of went delicious to, like, stuff. that was your first time? Yeah. We, we went to a barbecue place with him, like, in St. Louis, Steve. right? And Thank that you. was his – he was like, what is this <laughs> magical food? He was, like, eating it. He ate my mom's cooking. He was, like, Steve, right. he's like, Steve you know, how are you not, like, a 1,000 pounds? I'm <laughs> yeah. like, bro, I am fighting it all the time. Yeah, your mom's cooking was crazy. Aracune. Look at this. This is – why is he invisible? He had the predator. Is that Galileo? No, it's not. Wait, is it? No, it's uh, not. It's not. It's not. It's Fumi. It's Fumi. and Fumi. <laughs> I see Lychee and I get excited now. Oh, got, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Arakune is just a cool-looking character. I don't really know what he does, though. Uh, poison stuff. And he's yeah. pretty broken in this game. A lot of people... I went, like the sound of this. When this iteration first came out, people were saying he was definitely top three. Um, so They nerfed him after that, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he was broke. It was broken. It so, was broken. So the meter There's at the no bottom... One. Uh, fills up when that meter fills up. He basically has like Fang V trigger, but then he also gets access to like his his critters. Like yeah, little bugs he gets to call in the book, and they can cross up, and like you no, have to respect it. I don't like the way you said it critters. Is right here. Yeah, it's oh happening no, right now. the critters! So see uh, that that rings now he's around still her? cursed. So what happens is once he activates you, once he hits you, you're still cursed, and it stays on for a certain amount of time. And you get um, I, I think it's still random, but you can combo no matter what. Mm. You just have to have the awareness to do so. Okay. Damn, the critters. Yeah, so he's Lychee planning. with the full screen overhead. Man, I forgot about this. I legit <laughs> yeah, she just got the staff. It. She legit can oh. make you block low full screen and then go for it overhead. Damn, summon the staff gets the combo? That yeah. was cool. Monkey King all over again, man. But he's it's got to call it, though, soon here in the corner. He's waiting for that knockdown. But this combo's so long. There it is. Calls it, and you can keep the combo going with the stick. And, and it's OK? Yeah, you get the setup because you get to plant the stick and then make them guess mm. and call it back again. It's kind of like Monat's orbs, but it's, you know, a staff. All right, so the way Burst works in this game, underneath their portraits is a circle, and um, it counts up to 10. Once you once it goes to 10, you can either use mm -hmm. your Burst or you can use what's called an overdrive, overdrive which yeah. is like a cancel into damage. Like get super. into, like, damage. Yes. But you see a lot of people, there's like a guess, because sometimes you get that hit in Blaze Blue and you instantly activate just to take off as much damage as possible, mm -hmm. let it recharge, and you have to make sure your defense is tight so you don't get hit by the exact same thing. A lot of times you see people play Blaze Blue, like depending on the character, if they see that early activation, they'll either try to wait it out or they want to get as much damage as possible before yours comes back because you can't burst after that. Yeah, what a lot of people like to do is they, they kind of use it as like that V-Trigger activation where it pauses oh, okay. for a second so you can see how you want to punish. Mm -hmm. All right, so we jumped over to uh, Capcom Fighters, it looks like, here, which is another stream you guys can check out, by the way. Capcom Fighters has Street Fighter all day if uh, you're interested in that kind of thing. Another. Jobin Kali, we saw him earlier. Yeah, another. I love her so much. I just don't like that costume too much. But. This Scuba Colleen Steve? Costume. Hey, don't hate on my boy Scuba Steve, all right? Scuba Steve no, I like it. The Splinter Cell? Part, part of that Scuba <laughs> Squad for life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dang, the Splinter Cell, I hear you. Know, that's what I'm talking about. The only Xbox game I ever cared about. Really? <laughs> the yeah, only dude. one? Yeah, man. Not even Marvel? Wait, Oh, you Marvel's mean Xbox, on? like, one, like the first yeah. I can't original. even say Xbox one? Xbox <laughs> you know, original. Uh, V-Trigger 2. For yeah, V-Trigger 2. Well, so, Nicole I think it's good. Is, yeah, With I think Commander. it's okay. Very good. Really. EX maybe here? No. Reset. E into oh, in the front. Yeah, I had the Blades of Glory there. The thing is, is that uh, both of his V-Triggers are the same, in the sense that they both give him the infinite V-Trigger and the hair and all that kind of stuff, right? It's just what special move he gets in V-Trigger is different. That's all. So in, in V-Trigger 2, he gets the fireball. He spits the fireball. In V-Trigger 1, he has the stomp. Or he leaps up into the air. Punish. And I think it's I think having the projectile in this matchup is pretty good, actually. It's probably great. Yeah, it's kind of like a Laura projectile. It's a little mm -hmm. slow. It kind of takes a while on the screen. And, like, mixed with his, like, Ooh. his movement speed, the dashes, and size mode, it's actually really good. Now this character has a he has a lot of good tools, right? I mean, building trigger is obviously the priority almost every round with Nikali. As soon as you get it, he becomes such a powerful character that it's almost always worth a command throw. I love seeing Jobin on this character, honestly. 
Gets the while out with uppercuts and command throws. Stan Harkick, wow, look at this movement. Trigger two is available for Colleen. There it is. Hi. Can't get hit, though. He's got to keep this going. Oh, the oh he blocked Ooh. it, though. Good block. Yeah, Jovan was ready. The Slayer dandy step coming from Colleen. Overhead. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, oh. ran into the throw. He wasn't falling for that throw again. You knew a throw was coming. He's like, nah, that's how you won that last round. You're not doing it again, bro. Not, not today. Not on once. Jobin's watch. Fool me <laughs> one time. Shame on you. This guy, Jobin's got tricks, man. If you've ever seen, like, a compilation of this guy play, you know that he knows all kinds of crazy stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh again? God. No. Oh, good dunk. Jobin. <laughs> oh, oh, a best to us. He's too ooh, wild. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, still alive. He didn't have meter for the, the trade. Oh. I don't blame him. That was, that was actually worthy. I would have dashed up jab. Those two fierces are just, oh, man, it was so good. The carnage. See, those, that's the, those are the Nikali rounds that make me love the character so Imagine much. Imagine back in, like, 2010 or 2011, someone told you, in the year 2018, you're going to get to watch Jobin at EVO Japan. <laughs> like, play matches and just wild out on somebody. Counter hit combo off that low medium punch. Like the low fort. Goes for that block screen. What a jump, jump in. in yeah. the Dunk for reset. Reset. Yeah, tick throw on hit. He didn't care about the combo. Yes. Got him. Jovan's no wilder and than screen off. Yeah, that's a ooh, bold ooh, claim, bro. Ooh, I don't know, No, man. I'm telling you. Reset and ooh. He called every, uh, the golden <laughs> life bar and letters. I'll go everything. <laughs> oh, the Trinidad James, man. Low four. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> Man, Jobin, he's a. Uh, oh, it feels like every heavy. He hits a heavy button for every like light okay. button he hits. It's like hits evil. Oh. normal grab out of his command grab. Wake, Wake up, up EX. EX. Oh. Just for no particular. Well, he's like whatever. I was just thinking, like he did it for no reason. He didn't have to do it. Feeling. He's trying so hard to come back now. Like he's he's gonna be pressing buttons. It's gonna work. Yeah, jumping command throw too. Oh, wait, drop wait, the combo. Wait, wait. Oh, wow, just. Right out of range for that crouching jab, it looked like eats a roundhouse, that heavy kick. Sets up that ice storm. Yeah, the wants, storm. wants no parts of the mix ups. I want to see more roundhouse in a roundhouse from Nikali. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Ran into the heavy punch. Uh oh. What kind of mix, mix up do we have? Still here? one more mix up out of Colin. Uh oh. Four throw. Oh, again. Wake up, EXDP. Yep, that desperation. He can smell the desperation. Jobin just needs one buffer. Three of those crouching medium kicks in a row. Oh, yeah. She's out of trigger now, so no more Ooh. enhanced tail. Oh, not the combo. Oh, the delay was too oh. far. Nice. Okay. All right, Jobin. Going down to this last wire. Colleen taking it, though. Yeah, that V-trigger, too, really helped her out. The movement of it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Okay, EX, gonna take the throw this time. Yep. Uh. Yeah, I think that air throw, you're already in the corner, so positioning not too important here. Oh, stand strong. Ooh. And the target gets the size mo. He dashed up and tried point blank <laughs> roundhouse. He's like, yeah, right in your face. He's having so much success with his size mo's, knows exactly when to place him. He hasn't gotten one jumped in on yet. He's gonna be able to close this Curse. round out. The clean BNB. Yep, EX DP at the end for that extra damage. And he got the uh, trigger build with the target combo one of the V skill, close V skill. So excellent work uh, to Jovan there, carving along in that uh, that bracket. I really want to know where Tokido ended up in his bracket. It's I'm true. sure he's playing. But, man. I, I'm sure if he would have gotten knocked out, we would have heard about it. I, I'm sure yeah. somebody so, would have said something. The, the presses would have been on it already. There would have been a news article. I would have seen it. A Kotaku article. It would have been oh something. A Kotaku article would have been oh, right Kotaku. away. Wait, so can we just take a moment to, to realize, like, we're a part of history right now. This the is true. This is 100% true. Evo Japan, and I have the honor of being on the microphone with you guys. Oh, it's cool, man. You know. It's been a minute. Uh, yeah. I, I, well, like, since, this is the first time. Evo. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> since regular Evo. <laughs> yeah. America, And that was just Evo. an exhibition, me and you. So. Evo US. <laughs> yeah, Steve and I had a, a weird trend of, like, anytime we commentated together, it was always an exhibition. So, like, most yeah, recently, that true. Evo, before that, it was a, a first of five at uh, NEC one year. That was actually super hype. Was yeah. Uh, and that was, was, I think that was the last NEC I went to. I, I think, think that so. was the last then, one. Then after that, that was the first one where somebody said I looked like you. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> what? Yeah, it, See, yeah. that's what I right. said, That's man. what we both said. I'm like, dude, some, uh, some weird guy said I looked like you. But then it happened. He said oh. some weird guy. <laughs> 
But then it happened well, over the course of like four different tournaments. So then by the next NEC, I was like, you know what? Forget about it. I'm going to cosplay him. There's a cosplay I contest. I did see the Steve cosplay. <laughs> that's yeah. And that's why I grew out my hair. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you know what? I can't do it anymore. I, can't do it anymore. I, I was like looking at both of you. I was like, I don't know how you could see yeah. it. So I tried to look at the monitor. I was like, well, maybe from like far away or something, right? It'll, and I was like, no, nah, it's because it's it. people that don't really know either of us, they just kind of see us from afar. And they know that we, we commentate. It's why so they're like, oh, yeah, you're that black It's guy. why Ono <laughs> said I look like uh, Tom Cruise. And that guy really? called Really? I can? <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. No. You know, it's like uh, sometimes you just look like some other guy that kind of looks like you sort of because you guys have one thing in common. People I, mistaken I, me for <laughs> Shen. I've definitely been called Idris Elba in Japan. What? Yeah, and Will Smith. What? And Will Smith. I'm not even joking. No it Kendrick happened. Lamar? No Kendrick See, that, Lamar. that would be more... Mm. That's the one I accurate. hear a lot in the U.S. Yeah, maybe Kendrick's not popular in Japan. Okay, no, I can see that. I mean, somebody actually popular. ran up on me when I was standing in line at a yeah. movie theater thinking that I was Kendrick Lamar. I'm Did not you a, play it? No, man, I can't do that, Come man. Come on. I'm you, just saying. You should have just played it all You cool. watched the movie here? No, it was in the States. In, in the States, oh. yeah. Why wouldn't I watch a movie here, though? Because it's, it's like mad expensive. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, it's like three times as much or something like oh, that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was going to see that movie for him. last time we were in like Singapore. Oh, yeah. Let's see what... I mean, it's already like 20 bucks to watch a movie in the U.S. That's bad enough. <laughs> and I don't do less than 3D. You know this. I'm all that's about true. the 3D yeah, world. Yeah, that's 100% true. Well, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this Evo Japan act, uh, action. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back with more matches in just a little bit.